Red tide has impacted several businesses in our area over the last two months, and but experts say it's beginning to fade away. That is some good news. And as Tentiba Bay's Adure Achumba finds business owners, they are hoping that this weekend's severe weather could actually help red tide. Whether it's the dead fish or the bad smell, many waterfront businesses have seen red tide shut out some of their customers, but some of them are looking to Fred to possibly wash things away. Safety is always our first priority, so if we're not able to take cruises due to wind, lightning, heavy rain, things like that, we're not going to risk it. Sarasota businesses are planning for a washout this weekend as Tropical Storm Fred threatens to shut things down as though red tide hasn't done enough damage already. We have had people calling and canceling trips um, due, due to those reasons. But experts say the storm could be nature's way of clearing up the red tide bloom that's killed tons of marine life. We asked our own meteorologist Grant Gilmore for his take. You're looking at those winds potentially pushing everything and that red tide bloom away from the water. Business operators welcome that possibility. It's about big picture, not about the day sometimes, yes. So, yep, yeah, let's just be done with it and move on kind of thing. It It'll be a huge relief, absolutely. It's uh, get everybody back out on the water and enjoying beautiful Sarasota Bay and without the concern of any respiratory issues. We're told a positive outcome largely depends on how strong the winds are and the intensity of the storm's counterclockwise direction, which can push the red tide further up the bay. Tropical systems and, um, and red tide don't always play nicely together. And the experts also say runoff from all the rain could affect water quality levels as well. Already, some beaches have a no-swim advisory due to high bacteria levels.